We get asked this question all the time. Is this visor legal? By far, one of our most popular comments we get all the time is, is this football visor legal? What if I live here? What if I play in this league? What if it's tinted and not mirrored? What if I only wear it in pregame? These are all the questions we get around visors and their legality across different leagues in North America. Today, I'm gonna to answer the question, what football visors are legal? So I wanna break this down into three distinct buckets. The first bucket is gonna be pros. Second bucket is gonna be men's league. Third bucket is probably why you're here and that's gonna be amateur. We'll deal with that at the end. Now, each of these buckets has generally their own set of rules that pretty much work across the board and you can help apply to yourself. Let's start with the top down first we're going to look at professional now, the leagues i'm going to be talking about here when i'm talking about the pros is going to be anyone that is paid to play football so mostly we're looking at the nfl cfl xfl and usfl now the nfl's rule for this is pretty clear you can only wear visors that are clear free of tint unless you otherwise have a doctor's note now i say the rule is pretty clear because there's a lot of ways to get around this frankly now the first part about this needing a doctor's note pretty much any nfl guy can get a doctor's note now and anyone in the league can pretty much wear a tinted visor so that would be a gray smoke all the way down to like a 20 percent tint black there's also going to be some caveats with the tint part of that rule. Now, because Oakley is the sponsor of the NFL, Oakley has a couple of their own technologies that they put into their visors. Number one would be this pinkish hue here, which is their prism technology, which basically makes the field easier to see and more clear. It's in a lot of their polarized stuff too. This is also a prism version of one of their visors. Now, these are actually legal, although they are tinted like a brown, black, and a pink. But because Oakley is a sponsor, you're allowed to wear these, even though these technically break the tint rule because these have a pink tint. So, so far the rule is you can only wear clear unless you have a doctor's note, which anyone can get, or unless you're gonna wear the league sponsor, and in that case, then the rule doesn't matter, you can wear their pink one. The other gray area is still gonna be a mirrored visor, so mirrored visors might be a clear visor with a mirror finish on it. I don't remember if this is a clear mirror, but sometimes you can see there's like a mirror finish across it. I'm pretty sure this is just a standard clear. Again, mirrored is a gray area, so sometimes guys get away with it, and maybe the guys that are wearing it are getting fine behind the scenes and we don't know about it. So I'm not really sure, again, the gray area. The only place that NFL will not bend on this rule is gonna be the use of other colored visors. So I'm talking about the iridiums, the blues, purples, yellows, gold, all those different colors you cannot wear in game in the NFL. So the only time you'll be seeing guys in these cool iridium visors and all these different really nice colors are gonna be in warmups, training camps, and any other practice time. Now the USFL and XFL are gonna follow what the NFL says and have the exact same rule. Now mostly with their right now, I'm really much only seeing clear visors, not a lot of tin, and definitely no mirror visors in games. The CFL is weird because they have the exact same rule, but a couple times I have seen guys wear different mirrored visors, different iridium visors, and they haven't been taken out of game, so not really sure what's going on in the CFL most of the time. Now remember, the NFL is sponsored by Oakley, so you'll always see all their guys in Oakley visors with Oakley tabs on the top. The only time that you won't, in very rare situations, some NFL guys will not wear an Oakley, they'll wear something like a shock, which won't be branded shock, and even sometimes they'll go as far to add the Oakley tabs on top. Very rare, I think I saw Brian Burns do it one time. Now the XFL is sponsored by Under Armour, so they will always be wearing Under Armour visors, and mostly their clear finish. This is not clear though, this is like a smoke mirror. The CFL's title sponsor is New Era. They don't make any visors, so mostly you'll see their guys in Oakley and Shock unbranded. Speaking of, there are so many different visors on the market. If you don't know which ones are gonna be best for your helmet, whether you have a Riddell Speedflex or a Shut F7, we have two videos here that outline every visor, how they fit, and how they are to install on those helmets. Check them out. All right, next and easiest is gonna be your men's league. So these are gonna be your guys that used to play high school, college, and some even pro, and these are gonna be their local leagues of a bunch of random teams made up from around their county, city, or state where they play against them. Now these men's leagues don't really have massive governing bodies like you would for the NFL or like high school football across the states. So they can pretty much do whatever the league says. These leagues can determine their own rules, so it's not a go ahead to just wear whatever you want. Definitely check with your league rules if you aren't a men's league, but this is gonna be your best chance to wear any of your iridium, smoke, clear mirror, chrome, any of that crazy kind of stuff that mostly won't fly in any other league. So if you see any in-game photos of someone wearing a clear mirror or something crazy like this one, probably a men's league. Now, if you're noticing, we're featuring a ton of different visors in today's video, and our recommended visor is still gonna be our channel sponsor, Shock Visors. Shock Visors makes really high quality visors in a bunch of different colorways at really good prices. They have by far some of the most innovative stuff on the market, like some of their different iridium finishes, and they even have a visor called the Friday Night Lights that shifts from a black during the day out in the sun to a clear at night. It's insane. Now, if you're gonna pick up a shock visor for yourself, make sure to use the code footballers2023 and check out one of the top links in the description down below. All right, the last one we're gonna be talking about is amateur. And this is basically gonna be anyone under 18 or in non-pro leagues like the NCAA. If you're in Canada, this is super easy. Everyone in amateur football across Canada is covered under one governing body, which includes U Sports, our equivalent of NCAA, and all of our Canadian high school football leagues and all of our Canadian club leagues. So everyone is under one umbrella. And their rule is really simple, only clear visors free of tint. 
USA is pretty much the same, but a little different. The NCAA has their own rule that says you can only wear clear visors free of tint. Now, as far as brands in the NCAA, remember NCAA schools are sponsored by different manufacturers like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour. So they'll probably be wearing those brands unless they are unbranded. Good example is Baker Mayfield actually loved to wear a shock clear mirror visor at Oklahoma. Now the NHFS has their own rule for high school football in the States and it says only clear visors free of tint. See the theme here? And even specific states and cities create their own subset of rules that have to be followed as well. And in those, they all pretty much say you can only wear clear visors free of tint. So yeah, they make it all different, but it's it's literally all the same thing. Now with this rule, remember, there are gonna be two caveats you need to know. The first one is they're both gonna be around the word tint. Now, although the NFL has their rule that says you cannot wear anything with tint, but allows this pinkish tint here on the Oakley prism, that does not apply to amateur football. So if an amateur football rep sees you in an Oakley prism visor, all they'll see is a pink tint and say, get off the field. So it's not gonna fly there like it does in the NFL. The second is none of these rule books explicitly define the word mirror versus tint. Now, a lot of times you could say, okay, we have a clear visor and it has a mirror finish, no tint so it's legal but remember the entire point of this rule was so that any medical staff if they cannot take their helmet they can see your eyes through your visor so if a mirror finish inhibits their ability to see their eyes it's basically up to the ref's discretion to pull you off the field for wearing a visor that they would consider unsafe and illegal now yes this is a gray area but for a team i coached this year a player had a shot clear mirror visor in four of the six games this year he was asked to take off his clear mirror visor and switch down to a clear now yeah depending on the ref crew you might be able to get away with it but if you can't wear it all the time and you only have one visor i'd probably just go with a clear and no mere fairness just be safe so here's gonna be my final recommendations number one look at your local rules at all the way down to your city level to make sure that it is the same it should be but just confirm it just to make sure if you're going to buy one and only one visor make sure it is a clear visor with no mirror finish no matter where you go mirror visor you'll have no issues and if you want to go with something fun like a crazy purple or a 24 karat gold use it in pre-game use it in practice get the photos of it that you want on yourself and then switch out to your other visor which would be a clear for the game now technically the rules i talked about also apply to practice and pre-game but at that point it's up to your coach's discretion to make sure they're upheld not the ref and the coaches really don't care as much so that should clear everything up now you can stop asking me in every single comment which visor is legal use this video don't at me.